The Henderson memo. Bottom of the in basket. Where's the in basket? Next to the Rolodex. What's the Rolodex? It's the round thing with the phone numbers. What time is my meeting with Bob Bradshaw tomorrow? Uh, 11.30. Why isn't it in the calendar? Turn the page, Bert. Oh. I'm out of here. Oh, me too. Mm. I'm gonna meet David over at the party. Their date, so is the charm. Mm. You weren't thinking of deserting me now, were you? I need 35 copies before you leave, collated. Come on, Bert, I have plans tonight. Where's your Christmas spirit? The same place your Christmas bonus will be if I don't get those copies. You know how important it is that I get that report to the audit department first thing in the morning. Be a good girl. Marcy. Oh, I'm just, sorry, kid. I'm already just, late. No, no, it's the last class before Christmas break. Mm -hmm. Hey, kid, I gotta pass the bar. Besides, you're gonna need a lawyer when you beat him to death with your typewriter. <laughs> Word processor. Whatever. Listen, wait for me. I'm coming anyway. Bird. You know, you really gotta think about getting out of secretarial work. I mean, a bag lady would turn up her nose at what we make. Besides, you're too smart. You've been talking to my mother. <laughs> I like my job. Hello? Look, him I could see vivisected. Believe me, I wouldn't blink an eye. But I love my job. And maybe someday I'll get some respect, too. <laughs> you keep talking like that. We'll be able to use the insanity defense. The sooner you finish, the sooner you can leave. Hey, Billings. The kid who brought my car back from the car wash, did he park it in the C lot or the B? C. As in Cretan. Dan Singer here. I'm his date and I'm late. Well, I don't recognize the name. Oh, perhaps he's a friend of my husband's. Oh, um, this is 2947 Bronson, Parma 2A. <gasps> yes, it is. Uh, did you have trouble finding it? No, it's just that my boss thinks that because I'm the secretary, uh, I should be able to... You're a secretary? Oh, well, this is truly an honor. Imagine a secretary at my party. Oh, frankly, I thought you people would be a lot taller. <laughs> um, if you'll excuse me, I'll, I think I'll look for Dave. Oh, by all means, dear, and have a wonderful, wonderful time. Ciao.
Oh, hey. Nice fingers. I bet you give great typing. <laughs> I'm uh, meeting somebody here. But, um, <laughs> I am pretty good, though. I do type 90 words a minute. <laughs> Have you been tested? Well, sure. Uh, recently? Yeah, all secretaries have to be tested every oh, now. I'm sorry. I, I had no idea that you were really as... Oh, oh. Had a little too much to drink, huh, Steve? Oh. I finally get a chance to meet a secretary. Oh, excuse me. You stay right here. I'll be right back. This is weird. Yeah. Seriously weird. Well, I bet you hear some strange ones from guys like that all the time. Oh, sure. But I'm hoping that'll change. Oh? Right now, I'm just a high-paid fashion model. What I really want to be is a... secretary. You're not kidding, are you? Of course not. Cheers. So, in less than two hours, I typed a 125-page report and booked Bert's flight to New York and back. And that was nothing compared to last Monday when Bert comes in with a hangover and I have to rearrange the entire appointment schedule. <laughs> I snipped the erasers off of the ends of four pencils, glued them to the corners of his blotter. And all I can say is it's been over a month and he hasn't complained about it slipping since. <laughs> Look at it, it's really getting late. I've got to be going. Oh, I do. I've had a... I wish I could. Thank you. I've had a wonderful time, but midnight already, and besides, I have to be ready for work tomorrow. Oh, and it seems I have lost my date. Miss Billings. Oh, yeah? Certainly any company with a secretary of your skills must already be treating you like royalty. <laughs> I'd greatly appreciate the opportunity to win you from them. I dare say the sky would be the limit for someone like you. Think about it, won't you? Can't you count? I said 35 copies, not 34, 35. Give me a break, Bert. Of course I counted them. I put the last one right. What'd you do with it? I haven't touched a thing. It wasn't there. It probably never was. Bert. Like your brain, Billings. Missing, absent, vanished. 
You secretaries are all alike. Just a bunch of bubble-headed bimbos. Larry, lunch? Great. contract you needed? Oh, the copies. Sure. Yeah. Copies. And care in your resignation? Marcy. In case I never see you again, I'm going to make a copy now. I'm sure it'll be a very nice copy, too. Wait a minute! What? I need to use the copier. So use that one. It's fixed. I need to use this one. I know this is an imposition, but our Paris office is having difficulty, and I want you to fly over and handle it. Uh, of course. I uh, know this is very short notice, so I've taken the liberty of having a complete wardrobe delivered to your hotel in Paris. I hope you don't mind. No. No, I... No, I, I don't mind. At all. Welcome aboard, Miss Billings. Thank you. Thank you very much. Where do you get the woman who has everything but respect? Ask Karen Billings, recipient of a very unusual and definitely non-returnable present. Because this year for Christmas, Karen Billings received the Twilight Zone. 